This is the first in a series of videos designed to teach you how to use the Amherst Maps interface to create your own parking plan. I'm on the Residential Rental Property Permitting page, and I'm just going to scroll down. We have a link here to our Parking Plans page, so I'll just click that link. And on the Parking Plans page, we have a lot of information about uh, what type of uh, information needs to be on a parking plan and what your options are for creating one. What I'll go over is uh, using our own Amherst Maps interface for creating it. Uh, we have a couple examples here. So what I'm going to design is going to look something like one of these. We have a search interface right on this page. So we can search for an address. I'm going to do a parking plan for the parking area behind Town Hall. I'll just put a couple spaces in there. So I just searched on Boltwood Avenue. I can narrow this down by address. I can also search by parcel ID. And I'm looking for 4 Boltwood Avenue, which is right here. And I'll just hit Map It. So this brings up the Amherst Maps interface. You can see we're looking at a map here of Town Hall. I'm going to focus on the parking lot back here. So I'm going to use the magnifying glass here. I'll just turn that on and draw a box so I can get right to that area. And we'll notice on the right here, we're looking at the what we call the markup panel. And the markup panel allows us to draw right on the map. The first thing we need to do is identify ourselves. So I'm going to write my name in here. As soon as I put a name in, I can create what we call a markup group. So I'll just hit New. Uh, next thing I'm going to want to do is give it a title. So I'll call it uh, Example parking plan and I'll hit enter and that updates the title so you can see here it is listed and I have several drawing tools available now I can draw points so if I turn on the point drawing tool just clicking on the map will put a point there I can draw lines the way to draw a line is I click to start the line anytime I want to put a turn in the line I click again and I double click to finish the line I can also draw polygons. This works much the same as drawing lines. Click to start it. Click to put down an anchor point. And double click to finish it. I can also draw circles by clicking and dragging. I have several other tools here and I'm going to focus on our uh, measured length tool. This is the same as the line drawing tool except that it automatically captures a length as we draw. And this is very powerful, uh, particularly for parking plans. Um, so if I want to make a standard size parking space, I can draw my line and know that it's uh, capturing the right distance. So it'll be at scale. And so I've drawn the line and I can see my measurements right there. So I know this line's 18 feet. Um, I have several other tools here that I'm just going to go over. We can delete markup. So, for example, all this stuff I drew as examples, I can delete just by clicking on them when I have the delete tool enabled. And I, I'm still left here with my 18 foot line. I can also modify the colors uh, so I can pick a different color. So for example, if I want a blue line, I'll just change it to blue. And now if I draw a blue line, here I'm going to continue my parking space here. So I want this to be 9 by 18, so I'm drawing a 9 foot line there. And that's blue. And I'll continue here. And I'll try to get this square. There we go. So that's one parking space right there. Uh, if I want them all to match, I can use the dropper to pick a color. So uh, let's say I want them all to be red. I can just click on this red line and that switches my color to match that. And I can use the paint bucket to fill the color of another feature. So I've just switched that to red to match this one. Uh, and actually, I think I want them. I like the, oops, I'm going to cancel that. I like the blue that we went with before, so I'm going to make my parking plan in blue. Okay, so that's one space. I can continue this and draw another space if I'd like. Let's make this a two-space plan. So we want this to be 9 feet and 18. 
And so here are my two parking spaces for this plan. I can also put text in. So if I type in something here, uh, call it space, um, and I have my text tool enabled, if I click on the map, there's text. We have this glow box we can check too. If we check that, we'll see that there's a nice white glow that will show up around the text. It makes it easier to read. So there we go. So I have my two parking spaces and I'm ready for the next step, which I'll cover in the next video. Thank you.